Okay, what we're looking at here is a Yamaha RBX 260. I believe this one, this particular guitar is uh, discontinued. Yamaha no longer makes it. Um, I got this one when I was 16, 1997. It's been a great bass guitar. It served its purpose very well. And some things I like about it, it feels good, you know, when you're holding it, playing it. Uh, the action is really nice on it. The electronics, uh, the pickups here, just a uh, passive style electronics, but they work and they sound great. Uh, not a lot of frills to it, it's just a basic uh, volume and tone knob. And then you see down here you have the Yamaha headstock. Um, those are things I like about it. Of course, it comes in very nice black, but let me show you some things that. Uh, some problems that it has now. There's, some of these things are just very minor. If I can just move in right here, you see some nicks. Just a little, if you can tell right here, there's actually a crack in the finish. Eh, not a big deal. It's, you really can't even see it unless you're really looking for it. However, you turn the guitar over, of course you got all these stickers on it. Uh, we'll be taking those off and cleaning it up real good, but you can see this area right here, very bad uh, buckle rash. And what that comes from is just lots and lots of playing uh, while wearing a belt. So that scratches the paint all up. We'll be taking care of some of that goop. Uh, but. I noticed when I took this thing out, so I looked at the headstock up here. You can tell right here, there's a small crack that is forming. And I don't know if that's from uh, just the travels in the gig bag, which I don't recommend that you keep your guitar in a gig bag. It's just hard, hard shell cases are just the way to go. But this crack goes all the way from here, all the way through where the screw is coming through. And so uh, I don't want that to become a greater problem. Right now it's not affecting the sound, it's not affecting playability. But I certainly don't want that thing to break off. So I'm going to be trying to repair that. I'm just going to try to peel some of these stickers off. Hopefully it won't leave too much goo behind but you know what we have something that will fix that it's called goo gone very good product and you probably don't want to see me peel these off so uh, I'll catch you when I get these things off alright as you can see I got those stickers off and uh, a lot of that goo that sticky residue left behind ooh yeah so you see how bad that is. Well, that's just a simple fix. What we're going to do is we're going to take this goo gone and just uh, apply some of it on there. And stuff just soaks in just a little bit. Just there. towel and just rub it in there I'll probably have to do this a few times one or two times just to make sure we get it all all right well I got that goo off from the sticker and all the residue that it had. And now I'm going to just take this uh, Gibson polish and lightly mist it all over it. And then uh, just take any old soft cloth. I'm actually using a handkerchief. It's a plain white one. Just rub that in real good and 
polish it up, make it shine. You're gonna have to keep turning your cloth because if you don't, and you're just re-wetting the guitar, so you just want to find a good dry spot on it. Just keep working it in there, buff it out. By the way, just want to give a shout out to uh, anyone that's living in and around Macon, Georgia. Uh, this guitar was bought at a place at the time it was in the Macon Mall which probably has changed names but Georgia Music it's just a music store in Macon and they were very friendly and very helpful when I bought the space okay I think I got that Let's see yeah, there's still some scratches and that kind of stuff in it, uh, especially in that area, but yeah, she's got a nice shine on her still. Okay, in order to uh, attempt to seal the crack on the, uh, on the back side, uh, I've taken the string off here, the E string, and I'm going to have to take this off. Okay, that's nice and loose, so we'll get that taken off. Make sure you want to keep those parts together because you certainly don't want to lose them. Okay, now you can see that crack there pretty good. It kind of extends down to here. Get out of the light. Goes through that all the way to that mounting hole there but all right well we'll try to seal that up and uh, put this thing back together but i'm sure that'll be a little bit process okay so what i've done is i've taken some of this tight bond uh, wood glue and i've spread it all in the crack using uh, just one of these little walls and uh, I think I've worked it in there pretty good. I've used a generous amount. Tries to just you know work it in there as best as possible. Uh, put it down in the screw hole too. See if I can point that out for you. Yeah, so like right there, it's a screw hole. And you know, the crack went through that piece all the way to this, and so I put some down in. The crack's not very deep, which is a good thing, but I don't want it to spread. So that's why I'm trying to seal it up and work that glue down in there. Now, take just a wet paper towel, and I'm going to wipe the excess glue off. Come around here on the neck. And remember, when you're wiping glue off of wood, make sure you, you turn. Okay. You want to turn your rag, that way you're not just spreading glue all over the wood. Okay, so. I'm going to take a dry one, wipe it off. Let's dry that off. Okay, got the clamp on there, got the 
excess glue wiped off. Let that set up for a while, and uh, yeah, you can still tell that it was correct, but it's not separated anymore. So we'll just let that set up and see what happens. Okay, let's see what we got here. As you can see, you can barely see that crack, the line of the crack. Um, you see it a little bit better right there but it is filled in with glue so I think it's got a pretty good hold and what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of fine sandpaper and go over that little edge right there and uh, should be ready to go See my supervisor over here in the background, making sure I'm doing a good job. Alright, that's pretty smooth. So I'll go over that with just a little bit of oil. Try to blend that in pretty good and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, as you can see, I didn't get very far on this buckle rash. Um, tried to use some rubbing compound and some car wax on it but uh, to no avail it helped a little bit but it didn't didn't clear it up so uh, there are other options but yeah I'm just gonna live with it for now here's just another shot of where the crack was I can still see a little bit of a line there but I'm satisfied with it okay I had a little I saw right over here in the paint um, of course you can't see it now but there was a little nick where some white was showing and just a quick fix the old trusty sharpie just dotted on there and voila the dot is gone uh, shined her up polished her and uh, she's looking good now the everything is looking good on it as far as the intonation uh, the string height the action's still great on it. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to call this a finished project, at least for now, and we'll catch you next time.